Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and to, um, whatever time it is, we are going to be on boxing, bagging, packing, somethinging, um, it looks like shirts, and, um, yeah, let's get right into the video. Let's, let's get that stuff out. Okay, so, first off here, we have, um, a shirt in which, um, I, um, let's just take a look at it, um, just that in there, um, yeah, so as you can see, guys, it is a Van Halen shirt, because, um, as you guys know, I, um, really love Van Halen, and, um, yeah, but as you can see, um, it's, um, very faded out, <laughs> You guys might be wondering why. Well, that is because, um, no free promotion, um, washed this shirt, just put it in the washing machine without me asking, even though I literally just bought this like a week ago. And now look at it, it's, it's all faded out. Um,. Needless to say, guys, I was, um, very upset. <laughs> I, um, I will admit, guys, I, um, I literally did, like, actually cry. Because, um, I've been really wanting a Van Halen shirt for a long time now. And I finally got one. And, um, now it, it's... Man, I don't want to say it's ruined... But, I mean, you know, this it's already, like, really faded out, you know? Like, and it just sucks, man. I mean, I'll still wear it, but I'm just, like, really disappointed, though. Um, yeah. Also, um, no price tags on either of these shirts. Because, again, they were washed for some reason, but, um... Yeah, I did pay, like, I think $20 each, or... Actually, no, something more like 18 or 19 but, um... Yeah, I mean, show-off shirts, cool place, um... I mean, I'm not, like, sponsored or anything. I'm just saying it's a cool place that I go to, you know? I get stuff that I think's cool. Not promotion or anything. You know, I just support local businesses, because shopping local's cool, but, um, yeah, man, this here, this is really cool, but now I'm really sad, and then next, I actually don't know what we have, because I will admit I didn't look, um, what the, I mean, whoa, okay, let's see what we have here, um, yeah, we got Nine Inch Nails, the Downward Spiral, and, um, <laughs> like, this is, like, this is kind of cool, I guess. I mean, at least it's not faded out and stuff, <laughs> um, but, <laughs> yeah, and then, I just noticed on the inside here, there's actually their little logo, um, what did we have on the inside of this one, um, well, that's a tag, in which, um, I don't like tags, <laughs> but, yeah, let's see, it's just generic t-shirt making company, I don't know, um, And what we got here? Actually, nothing. 
I mean, honestly, though, I'd kind of prefer if this had nothing because, admittedly, I think that official merch is kind of lame. Oh, wait, what do we have here? Oh, it actually has something on the back. <laughs> Can't believe this. Um, whoa. Wait, I just realized. Count it, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, holy shit, guys. Um, yeah, now nine inch nails, um, I actually don't really. I don't know, I personally don't listen to them much. It's, um, it's the voices in my head. I mean, my. I mean, my, um, my friends who, um, listen to them, so, I don't know, and, um, yeah, you know, conveniently enough, I don't remember buying this either, but I also don't remember buying that Van Halen shirt, so, um, I don't know, I guess it's okay whenever they buy me stuff that I like, <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's the, um, shirt, um, you know, we'll, we'll even get a good, like, side-by-side -side view of, you know, the two shirts here. Now, which one do I like better? Um, well, you guys know I'm very biased for Van Halen. So if I was going to give my biased answer, I would definitely say Van Halen because Van Halen is very cool. Probably cooler than Nine Inch Nails. I mean, what has Nine Inch Nails ever done for you? Huh? I mean, I don't know. They've probably done more for you than Van Halen because I'm going to bet that half of you watching this video don't no Van Halen, or also probably don't know Nine Inch Nails, then I don't know why you clicked on this video, but, um, yeah, but I mean, if I was gonna be unbiased, I would have to say the Nine Inch Nails shirt, because it's not absolutely just faded out, and I mean, also, like, the, you know, being front and back, like, you know, it's, they're kind of cool, not gonna lie, you know, because I do wear a lot of my t-shirts without a jacket, because, um, I'm, I don't know, man, I just, I don't got no cool jackets, really. I mean, I got, like, a, I got, like, a trench coat that's, like, badass, you know, it kind of looks like it's from the Matrix, but, um, I mean, other than that, though, I don't really got anything else that's, like, cool. And, you know, I don't wear uncool stuff. But I mean, like, you know, Van Halen, um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to give my opinion and say that uh, I probably like Van Halen more. But uh, that's probably also just because I don't listen to Nine Inch Nails that much. Um, but, uh, I mean, okay, so for Van Halen, I'd say my favorite album is um, their debut album, which is just titled Van Halen. Um, you know, it's... It's a really good album, though, okay? Because literally the first song that it has on it is um, Running With The Devil, which is, like, it's the coolest thing to ever happen, like, in the, like, entire history of rock and roll, okay? Because, like, literally, guys... Eddie Van Halen had, like, just, in, like, just revolutionized how you play the guitar and just how it sounds and, like, it's, 
you know, I think it's, like, really, like, cool. And then also, like, the two songs that come after Running With The Devil, which is, um, let's see, it's Eruption, which is actually, it's actually just one of Eddie Van Halen's, um, test playings, which, um, accidentally got recorded, and they decided to put it in the album, because it sounded cool, because it does, and, um, yeah, I mean, um, like, it's cool stuff, and then, after that, <laughs> this song, You Really Got Me, um, I, I just really like that one, and then, um, Let's see, um, probably my favorite song from the album would, well, I have a few favorites, okay, I can't just pick one, um, You Really Got Me and Eruption, which, those two, they, you know, you should play them together, if you don't, then, um, you're going to hell, if you don't play Eruption, and then you really got me, um, you're going right down there, and then you're probably gonna have to be running away from the devil, um, but, yeah, and then, also, I'm the one, that one also, I just, like, I, I really love that song, and then, um, also, Running with the Devil, that one, too. I also really love that one, just because it's awesome. And, um, yeah, if, you, if you're watching this video and, um, you don't know anything about Van Halen, then, you know, I'd say the first album, which is just titled Van Halen, um, Go give it a listen. And then, after that, um, there's also another album that's titled Van Halen 2, which is also, it's really good. Um, I, I mean, admittedly, not as good as the first one, but I don't really think anything can beat the first one, so that's... I don't know how fair of a comparison that is, but it's still, it's really good, though, so go give it a listen. And then, um, okay, Nine Inch Nails, um, yeah, again, I don't, I'm, I'm definitely not an avid listener of them, because, let me think here, um, I'd say their peak error was, the 90s and the 2000s, which is not the kind of stuff I listen to. Um, I'm into 70s and 80s, so, yeah, but I mean, I'd say if I gotta pick an album from Nine Inch Nails, um, I haven't listened to all their albums, and I've listened to four or five of them, so, you know, of course, I gotta say, the downward spiral, because, you know, otherwise, if I didn't, I wouldn't have got a shirt with it, um, even though I didn't even get this shirt, but I'm just pretending like I did, um, yeah, but the downward spiral, like, like, damn, that's, it's really good, um, and then also further down the spiral, which, this too, basically go together, but yeah, like, this, this is really good stuff, though, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, even though they're not really my thing, I'm still listening to them, because I got suckered into it, so, um, yeah, I mean, if you're watching this video, and for some reason you haven't listened to Nine Inch Nails, um, yeah, I mean, I'd say the downward spiral, um, yeah, go, go give it a listen at least, because this is good, um, also, I mean, let me think here, 
Um, the Fragile. That one's also pretty good. Um, I just listened to it recently, and I just, I was like, I was like, holy crap, this is holy, holy moly. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's cool, though, for real. And then, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Do people on YouTube.com, do they, do they just, like, sit here and listen to me info dump about music? Is this, is this what my life has come to? I mean, I don't know, man, um, jeez, um, I don't know, I think after this, um, Peyton B is definitely gonna have to spank me for, um, uploading terrible YouTube videos to their channel, cause, um, yeah, I mean, this is just, this is awful, I mean, my life is awful, um, you know, like, man, it just, it just gets worse every day, and, um, you know, a lot of times I just wake up and I'm like, why, why am I still doing this, you know, and there are days where I've seriously woken up, and literally the only thing that... I think about is just what album I'm going to go listen to. Um, yeah, cause I literally just, I don't know, man. What the hell is the point of life? You know, I mean, really, cause I don't know. It did life really worth it whenever you wake up in the morning and you think, jeez, my life really sucks. Or, um, you wake up and you just think, you know, oh, I'm really going to go listen to, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, I'm really gonna go listen to, uh, Eat em Up and Smile by David Lee Roth. Who's, who's the, uh, who was the lead sing singer of Van Halen, and then started his own solo career. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just saying though, if if you like Van Halen, um, go give David Lee Roth a listen, especially the Eat 'Em Up and Smile album. That one's my favorite from him. Um, my favorite song off the album is, um, Shy Boy. But, um, also I really like Yankee Rose. And, um, yeah, especially the Yankee Rose music video. Um, it's, you can look it up on YouTube, it's, it's wild. I mean, the first part has barely anything to do with, you know, the song itself. I mean, you know, unless you want to get kind of metaphorical with, you know, the how the song's about, like, the Statue of Liberty and whatnot. But, um, yeah, and then, like, the rest, whenever the song actually starts in the video, it's just... It's just David Lee Roth and, uh, I don't know, and the gang, whatever you want to call them, like, performing. And, um, yeah, there's there's a few parts in the video that's just definitely jaw-dropping. Like, the part where um, he starts just shaking his behind. My jaw literally dropped, um... And then also just 
straight up just humping the microphone for whatever reason. Um, you know, I mean, good grief what I'd give to be that microphone. I mean, what? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think... I think Ray also needs to spank me. <laughs> just like, just, just grab a belt and then like, you know, just like, you know, just like, Ooh, Jay, you, you've been a bad, um, um, thing. Um, I don't know, um, you've been, you've been a bad thing, you know, um, the, the bad alternate, just, and then just, like, um, and then, then I go, like, you know, like, ooh, mommy, ooh, and Peyton B, like, you know, walks in, and it's like, And then I'm like, ooh, I've been, I've been caught being, a, being like, ooh. And then Ray's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then Peyton B, like, joins in. And then also gets like the, like, and then, like, then, um, actually, you know, if I continue on with this any longer, I'm gonna bring up my ex, um, my, my ex, they're <laughs> watching this, please get back together with us, please, 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 please. You know, um, I'll even make sure that whenever I die, I'll put it in the will that, um, you get this shirt, okay? I will, I'll put it in the will that you get this shirt, okay? Um, as for this shirt, um, I'm, I'm taking it with me up to heaven, okay? Because, um... Actually, let's be real here. I'm probably not going to heaven. Um, I'm straight on the highway to hell, but, um, yeah, I'm taking this with me to hell. Um, I gotta look cool while I'm down there, especially because I gotta impress Satan, because, um, you know, like, um, like, like, damn, have y'all seen Gabriel? Like, you know, he's kind of, kind of fine, bro. And I mean, I'm sure he'll like my shirt, you know, he'll be like, you know, like, ooh, ooh you like Van Halen too? Like, ooh, you're kind of cool. Like, yeah, and you know what, guys? I just got the best idea ever, because my life is totally not on, um, you know, it's totally not, um, Um, alright guys, so I got some ice here in a Hello Kitty mug, and you see I've, I don't know why these two are stuck together, please stop that, okay, and you know, I've been, you know, just, I've, um, been really bad, you know, man. My life has been bad. I've been bad. Um, so now I'm, um, I have my Hello Kitty ice cube. It's me, my righteous punishment. If I just, um, uh, I don't know. Does this make it melt quicker? What do you guys think? Um, does that look melted? Um, I don't know, but I'm next in here, 
just stick my hand in here. Um, this is the Star Ice Cube. Um, you'll remember these from um, the last, not last video, but one of the videos on Thou Who Shalt Not Be Promoted. Um, yeah, so, you know, um, you know, just, 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 like, ooh, yeah, Nine Inch Nails shirt, you like that, don't you, uh, Um, yeah, um, okay, let's see, what else do we got in here? Oh, another Hello Kitty Ice Cube. Um, uh, Van Halen shirt, You like that, don't you? Um, okay. What we got here? A little kitty ice cube. Um, uh, <laughs> <coughs> um oops. Um, <coughs> um, um, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm still really sick. Um, as you can tell, um, Um, okay, well, we got in here next, um, a little kitty ice cube. Well, this is, um, lucky for you guys, this is the ASMR portion of the video in which I chew on ice. Melted quite a bit. Um, just, just, ooh, yeah, it's such a bad boy, yeah, just a bad girl, bad, I don't know, um, something just, 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 um, Um, let's see, what do we got here? Ice cubes. Um. I don't know, guys. Um. Maybe I do think about Caesar too much. About as much as I think about Peyton B. And Ray. Um, I don't know, guys. Am I gonna make this video 18 plus? <laughs> Just realize that. Um, I don't know. Then again, there are quite a few moral questions of the content in which I upload, but <laughs> then again, I'm amoral. 
I don't really have morals. Hmm. Well, then, mm, I guess. Uh, I guess I don't. Because I'm evil. I'm. Um. So bad. Because, um, I've been so bad. Very bad. 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 Um. B bad. Um. Very. Very bad. Um. Come on, melt already, dang it. Um. Oh no, did it, did it melt? Let's see. Jeez, man, my, my gloves are all wet. <laughs> Um, um, whoops, um, I got just chew on the rest of this, um, just. Oh, there's the one that I dropped, um. I already picked it up, which is like right there. Um, um, You know what? I think I'll just let this ice cube have the easy way out. And that will be the end of our video, guys. So if you like this video, give us a like, give us a subscriber, and Comment down below if you are scared. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.